to make sure there's plenty of water for the thirsty city in the future. Aurora is getting, let me try that again. Aurora getting some help trying to provide enough water for the future. Help in the form of a lot of money from the federal government today. There was a celebration of a major infrastructure project that's now in the works. Our Dylan Thomas live in Aurora tonight. And Dylan, the city has been dedicated to saving water for a while now. Jim, in a way, the city has been a leader here in Colorado in their efforts to try and get more access to clean and reliable water for their growing population. Last year, they passed an ordinance as well that actually prohibits brand new builds from having grass in their front yard and also limits the amount of grass that can be in the backyard as well. Now, today, they're celebrating receiving millions of dollars in funding to secure more water that could be reusable as well. Given the, really all the challenges of the Colorado River Basin, Aurora is really front and center. It's really taking a lead, not just water conservation, but also the reuse of water. Politicians, both local and federal, both Republican and Democrat, came together on Friday to celebrate receiving $5 million in federal grants. I don't think people are really grasping to the extent that we are in a crisis in terms of water supply. The money, which comes from the recently passed infrastructure law, will help Aurora drill for more water from below the South Platte River we're using water that already filtered through the soil. And there's no clearer illustration of the impact of, of those investments than this facility right here. The millions of dollars that are going into creating new wells, which is gonna create uh, more water and more clean water. Assistant Secretary for Water and Science, Tanya Trujillo, was on hand for the announcement. Water is life, it's essential, it fuels our economies, it is essential for families and farms, and so, this is exactly the type of project that every community around the country should be working on. As more people move to a state plagued by drought, some say now is the time to start using money to be creative with securing water. The history of the West is the history of water. It's how we've developed our communities. It's how we develop our agriculture. Uh, so much of our history is tied up in water quality and quantity, and that certainly hasn't changed as many people have moved here to Colorado. Believe it or not, this new drill system that they're going to be putting in also gives Aurora the ability to reuse wastewater. Now, they do promise it is sanitary. Not only has it been treated before it was released back out, but also it goes through a natural filtering process in the soil below. Reporting live in Aurora, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, thank you.